going to give you a short tutorial for how to create a contact sheet using Adobe Lightroom. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to open up Lightroom Classic. If your Lightroom Classic icon doesn't show up in your bar along the bottom, you can click on the icon that looks like this. Sometimes the Creative Cloud icon shows up at the bottom. Sometimes it looks like this. Sometimes it's the same but only red. And sometimes it shows up in this top bar up here like that. So if you open up um, Creative Cloud, you should be able to just simply find Lightroom Classic installed on your computer and open that up and you'll be good to go. Now when you open Lightroom Classic, there won't be any pictures in here. It's just going to be blank. And so the first step I need to do is make sure that I'm using the library tab at the top right, library, and then I need to go down here to the bottom left and select import. And that's going to give me the option to look through my entire computer. Over here I can set to desktop or I can set to downloads wherever my pictures are. Mine are on my desktop so I open that up. I scroll through and I find the pictures that I was working with. So let's say for example um, this folder here. These are the pictures that I want to use. Then I can select import and anything that has a check mark will be imported to Lightroom. So if you don't want, for example, maybe I don't want these two pictures imported, I can deselect them and then it will only select the other ones. Okay, and then I'm going to click, click import over here in the bottom right and it will take a little bit of time to upload all my photos. So you're just going to have to take a look and be a little bit patient. It'll let you know in the top left corner if it's done importing or if it's still in progress. If it's in progress, you'll see a little spectrum bar that shows you how, how much it has loaded. So then I'm going to select the photos that I want to use. And the easiest way to do that is to click the first one and then use the arrow keys on my keyboard, sideways to the right and down. And then when I've selected the photos that I want, I'm going to go over here in the top right to where it says print. And now all my pictures should show up here. So when I change my over here on the right hand column, the page grid, I can change to be more or less pictures per page. And over here, it tells me how many pages I have in total. And I can scroll through them using these arrow keys down here. If your computer doesn't automatically go there, click the first option in the top right corner, single image slash contact sheet. So those are all my pictures in there. Now, um, if you haven't already preset this, then there's not going to be any info in the bottom. So the way that I set this info in the bottom, our metadata, is to come to here, photo info, press the check mark, and then I'm gonna go in here first, press exposure and that's going to give me my aperture and my shutter speed for each photo what it was set up so if you zoom in you can see that there are each one it will be a little bit different from each other this one for example 250 this one 320 so I can tell that it worked and now you'll notice that it doesn't have the ISO so I need to go back into this drop down menu the same one and press edit EXIF data and I'm going to click ISO speed rating, insert, and now I can see up here in the box that it's going to tell me my exposure and my ISO speed rating. Press done, and now I'll have all three, ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. So my contact sheet is nearly finished, and you can adjust, play around with the cell size if you want to, play around with the spacing if you want to. If you notice that your pictures are all vertical or messed around, you can click rotate to fit and that should change them, the direction. So my pictures are already horizontal, so they're already all straight. But if you have some vertical pictures, it's going to turn them. And then if you scroll down to print job at the bottom, select print to JPEG file. There's an option to print a printer as well, but we want to click print to JPEG file. Down here at the very bottom, we'll click print to file. And then I set this to my desktop. I want it to save to my desktop and set my 
name of my document. Now, once you change this, so once you download this, it's going to take a little bit of time again. You'll see the same kind of download spectrum bar in the upper left corner. And when it's done, you'll be able to see these wherever you select it as the destination. But if you rush it, um, they might not show up there yet. So just give it a bit of time while it downloads, because remember, this is a lot of data that your computer is recording. Okay, and that's the tutorial for how to make a contact sheet. Um, I look forward to seeing all your work.